Hey YouTube, welcome to Tech yes City. This is Brian Easy coming back to you guys today with a video about RAM, more specifically 1600 speed RAM versus 1866 speed RAM. And is there a difference for gaming? So let's have a look at the results here. And some of the results are pretty surprising. I ran these tests so many times just to validate it and just to make sure that everything was checking out okay. And yes, this is what I got. Look here, look how shocking this is. This is So if you guys are not changing any settings at all, for your RAM and BIOS, you're missing out on a pretty big chunk of performance in some games. Obviously in other games it's not going to make a difference, but I'll get onto that later. As we can see here in Skyrim, the worst case scenario versus the best case scenario, and this is for RAM only, this is not, all the CPU and GPU settings were the same, and this is what was happening, 13% difference from worst to best case scenario. And that was huge. So if you guys aren't changing your RAM and at least enabling the XMP profiles, which I'll show you later how to do in this video, you're missing out on a reasonable chunk of performance in some games. And so it's important to do this. If you are using the auto XMP profile, the good news is, is that it's a pretty solid overclock. It's a really good overclock. As I saw here, it netted me very solid results compared to my sweet spot overclock. The XMP 99924 overclock, which is what I was doing before. I wasn't doing XMP, I was just dialing these numbers in before I actually spent a lot of time with this RAM overclock, was that it was a pretty good result. It was getting solid results. And obviously I got to 2000, 10, 11, 10, 32, and that didn't really make a difference. So I decided that my sweet spot 24 seven overclock was going to be 1866, 910, 930. So let's move on to other games. So let's have a look at Black Ops 2 with 1600 speed RAM. 11, 11, 11, 28. So these are timings. And guys, I'm bringing out the RAM overclock tutorial soon, okay? So I'm gonna explain all these timings. I'm gonna explain all this mumbo jumbo soon. But in the meantime, we're just gonna see the results here. The auto setting versus my sweet spot overclock for RAM net only netted a 2.32% in Black Ops 2. So that was not, not much of a difference. In World of Warcraft, 64 bit, uh, the difference was almost 10%. So these runs were as identical as I could get them, they were very accurate, and it just showed that if you guys aren't changing any settings for your RAM and BIOS, then you're missing out on a chunk of performance. And so, people are probably wondering, why is this RAM overclock, why is this auto setting so bad? And I put this down to the TRAS, it's one of the timings, this last timing here is called the TRAS. And if this is too aggressive, which on the auto overclock, it, on the auto clock, not overclock, on the auto clock it is. See, it's too, it's way too aggressive. It's 28, and when I relax that to 32, it made a reasonable difference. So I'm putting that down to the RAM just simply not being in sync, as well as just being pretty uh, slack. The, the timings are just too relaxed. But when I relax the TRAS on the auto overclock, it actually netted me a pretty significant difference. So. I think I'll put that down to this TRAS just being way too aggressive. That's why this auto clock is just so bad. So in conclusion, let's have a look. So I also did some multitasking uh, as well. So I did some light multitasking. So I was listening to a song on YouTube and I was Skyping at the same time at 1600 speed 99924 and 1866 my sweet spot overclock. And as you can see here, it was consistent. The frame drop was consistent among both times. So I'll just pull up the fraps logs here. The averages dropped by about two or three frames. And so on both speeds. So this means that RAM, if you guys are light, lightly multitasking and playing games, there's gonna be no difference as well between 1600 and 1866 on an Ivy bridge. That being said, there is one instance, or I could probably think of a few, where RAM speeds will make a difference, and that is if you're a gold farmer, if you're, you've got 20 applications of World of Warcraft open at one time and you're gold farming, then you probably want to get some really high-speed RAM. So, But as for a normal person, 99.9% .9 of gamers out there, just having 1600 speed RAM will be absolutely fine. And the good news is, is that all the RAM I've recommended in the past will easily overclock to 1866. And I'm gonna show you that in the RAM overclock tutorial, uh, especially Corsair Vengeance, G Skill, all that stuff with the heat sinks on it, that'll overclock to 1866, no problems at all. So in conclusion guys, I will say 1600 speed RAM versus 1866, there was pretty much not much of a difference at all. And this was 2% at best. And even then I didn't tweak the 1600 speed as best as I can. I just spent like, I was like at 1866 and I was like, cool, I'm gonna focus on 1866 speed overclock and find the sweet spot there. So if I, if I, I think if I spent more time at 1600, I could have basically got the same results as 1866. So in conclusion, there's pretty much no difference at all. The main point to take out of this video is that you should not be using the auto settings, okay? So if you guys aren't changing your RAM at all in BIOS, then you should be. 
And basically this comes in the form of either enabling XMP profiles or dialing in the settings yourself. And I'll show you guys quickly how to enable the XMP profiles before I do my RAM overclocking tutorial video, which I'm gonna spend a lot of time doing and I'm gonna show you guys a lot of settings. So let's get onto that and I'll show you how to do it. Okay guys, so basically I want you to start your computer and just enter BIOS. So you can do that either by hitting the delete key or usually the F2 key. And now once you load up the BIOS screen, you'll get a screen that looks similar to this, if not looks exactly like this. Now every BIOS from different manufacturers will look different. So if you have an ASUS motherboard, or if you have a Gigabyte motherboard, the uh, BIOS may look different. This is the ASRock UEFI BIOS. Now, I want you to go over to Overclock Tweaker, and I've reset everything back to default. So for this, uh, for this little tutorial, I've reset everything else back to auto, so as to not confuse you guys with any numbers. And basically, I want you to go down to RAM configuration, or DRAM timing configuration. And as you can see here, my RAM has two XMP profiles. It's got a DDR3-1600 speed and a DDR3-1860 speed profile. So for me, I'm not going to go as 1.6 volt, 65 volt can be in some cases a little bit dangerous for Ivy Bridge. So I recommend you guys just load up the 1.5 volt XMP profile for now. Until I go over, so when I do my RAM overclocking tutorial, I'll show you guys a lot more in depth and I'll explain things a lot more in depth. But in the meantime, if you haven't done any overclocking for your RAM, just go here, load XMP setting, and I want to load the 1600 speed 1.5 volt uh, XMP profile. And that's all you do. Hit that, and then your RAM will then configure itself to these timings. And as you, as you saw in the benchmarks, these timings were a lot better. Well, I had 99924 dialed in manually before that, but... This, this timing will net better results than the auto. It'll net a lot better results. So you want to be loading this XMP profile up. So all you have to do is load XMP profile and then go save changes and exit. That's all you have to do. And you'll get yourselves a nice little overclock, guaranteed overclock on your RAM. Okay guys, so in closing, I will say I hope you enjoyed this little quick uh, bunch of tests that I ran and the little guide to enabling the XMP profiles and that's the main thing you should at least be doing and what an XMP profile is is basically a guaranteed overclock for your RAM so this is what the manufacturers have said all RAM runs at this speed and now I'll be talking a lot of, more about this of the different settings and th things about RAM in my overclock tutorial when I make that I've got to spend a lot of time on that and I want to make it as easy as possible for you guys and so if you guys if you enjoyed this video today please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already and you're a yes man then please subscribe to tech yes city and feel the power of a yes oh yeah so anyway guys uh peace out for now and stay tuned for tech talk so sorry tech talk got delayed because of this video i spent a lot of time on it and researching it and also i've had i got the flu so <laughs> i've been down and out for like a few days so yeah and whatnot who cares you know you get sick so what move on i gotta move on so anyway guys stay tuned for the next video and peace out for now brian easy bye